Hey, what's up, everybody? Today, we're going to talk about Sean Lee talking about Leighton Vanderish. This is serious. Cat mode time. You already know how we do it here. And I just want to give all you guys a big shout out. Thanks to everybody that has uh, subscribed, liked, and commented. Uh, comment boxes continues to be a uh, very interesting area for commentary, opinions, and things like that. Really appreciate all you guys. The other thing I want to put out here before we start the video, we do have a podcast here for Cowboys Huddle. Make sure you check that out. It's me and uh, Foots the King from Cowboys Nation TV. All right, so um, that's something that we started up. Link will always be in the description of each of our YouTube videos. So check that one out. Follow us there. Um, we'll have content on there that we won't have on the channels. So a little bit more of exclusive stuff. Just more content for you guys. So make sure you check that out. Cowboys Huddle on SoundCloud. All right, but uh, let's get back to the main topic here. Sean Lee talking about Leighton Vanderish. Check this out. Uh, Sean, there's you guys just used a first round pick on a uh, middle linebacker. He could probably move around a little bit, but this is I know serious. You talked to Leighton Vanderish before the Cowboys mm-hmm. draft him. I believe he told us he spent at least 20 minutes with you in a meeting. I want to get your perception of him and and what you like about him. Well, first thing, personality wise, you can tell he's a guy who loves football, who's a natural leader who right off the bat is asking questions. He this is serious? The game. Um, so, you know, you can tell he has a sense of urgency to be a great, great linebacker. Um, and then to see him, you know, be, being able to watch a little bit of tape of him, there's not a lot of 6'5", 250-pound linebackers who move like they're 230 long, who have instincts in space, who can make plays. So, to me, just knowing him shortly, um, in passing really, you can tell he's a complete package. So I can't wait to get him in and to work with him. You know, it's a guy that you want to help, but you realize he's probably not going to need too much help. So, you know, you've been around for a while, as we've talked about, and, and you've seen a lot of players come and go. One of the things we always talk about in pro sports and all the different sports is trying to project which young guys are going to hang a mission accomplished banner as soon as they get paid and which ones are going to keep a chip on their shoulder, remain competitive, and, and chase loftier goals. Have you figured out a way to determine that up front? Can you talk to a guy in an hour and size him up? Oh, you know pretty much within the first week with how they work. Hmm. Um, if a guy comes in with a sense of urgency every day to work, um, not only like in the weight room and on the field, but in the classroom, you'll know pretty quick. Um, you know, and that's a great thing Coach Garrett's done. And, you know, the Jones family and the whole organization, they've got a lot of like-minded guys who love football. And if you love football, you're not playing for the money. Um, you're playing because you love the game, you love your teammates, and you want to win the championship. Um, but, yes, you can tell pretty quickly. And a lot of times with our team, if you're not the type of guy, we're going to try to hold you to it and, and force you to become that type of guy. All right, guys. So pretty interesting interview there with Sean Lee talking about his initial thoughts on Leighton Vanderish, what he saw. Uh, coming from Sean Lee, who basically to me is a coach on the field. Uh, this is exciting for me. You know, we didn't obviously, a lot of us didn't get the pick that we wanted, but that's behind us. We're moving forward with the guys that we have. Leighton Vanderesh time, baby. All right, LVE, let's go, baby. So, Sean Lee likes the guy. All right, so if he approves him, I'm good to roll, man. Let's go, let's get it, let's get it. Let's get after these, these uh, NFC East teams, these losers out there. And get after it. Let's get that crown back and let's get to the to the playoffs and, and more. All right. But that's all I have for right now, guys. Just something real quick. Um, unless there's some breaking news, uh, Sunday will be off. So we'll be back Monday for some more news. And as usual, guys, continue to like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you for the next video. Thanks, guys.